In this video, I'm going to use my wood-fired oven to show you how to cook these bad boy T-bones directly on the coals, caveman style. So grab your loincloth and an extra dose of Lipitor. This should be spectacular, one way or another. What's up, ladies and gents? Today we're going to do three T-bones. We're going to do it in the pizza oven, caveman style. And that means you throw them directly on the coals. Once the fire gets started, we get that oven up to about 1,000 degrees. And these two are marinated. That's why they're a little brown. My wife didn't want them marinated. So she's going to get plain old salt and pepper. And we're going to see how this turns out. So first thing we got to do is uh, light up the fire. And take about, it'll take about uh, probably 45 minutes to an hour for that to get up to temperature. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and crack open a beer. Enjoy the nice day. Go ahead and get some baked potatoes ready for it. While that fire gets going, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my new Yeti cooler I got for Christmas. It's pretty nice. And one thing I wanted to mention, we are using straight up hickory for the wood. I was fortunate enough to, the guy helps me get wood, which I pay him back in pizzas every once in a while. He, uh, he has access to some land with a log splitter and found a hickory tree last time we were out there and cut that up, an old dead hickory tree. And uh, this would be good for barbecue and for uh, cooking steaks. So, hickory has the best smoke flavor, in my opinion. So, all right. One thing I want you to check out here: see how the brick turns uh, white up there? All the soot is burned off. That means your oven is up to temperature. So, we'll—that's uh, a sign your oven's up to temperature. So we'll shoot it with a laser. Floor that's 587. Let's see if we can get a shot up here. 935, 937, 991. Pretty hot. So we're over a thousand degrees. That was that 1418 is a thousand fourteen, almost fifteen degrees. So that uh, that thermometer goes up to 1,076. So I've shot a couple of times in there. It said high, so that means it's over that heat. So now we just got to wait for some of these coals to burn down and and uh, ready to put the steaks on. All right, now that these uh, coals are about ready, let's go ahead and prep the steaks a little bit. I want to go ahead and put some olive oil on it. Just kind of rub those in. One. Maybe kind of help the coals from sticking to it. And then I'm going to put a little kosher salt. These are about one inch, one inch thick uh, steaks, I would say. Uh, cracked pepper. spread these coals around a little bit and go ahead and stick these on fire. Just try to blow any ash you can out of there. Yeah, you'll definitely need a glove for this hot oven. So here goes. Flip them over.
go ahead and take these off. Oh, that's no art, just right. Get a little more done. What I'm going to do now is stick this pan in here, cook the mushrooms on, and we're going to put a little seasoned butter on this, these steaks and cover them up with some foil. Let them rest for a second. Kind of messed up. Read up the roll. Alright, we'll set those aside. Start to heat up pretty good. Throw uh, butter in the pan. And a little olive oil. Two tablespoons each, and throw mushrooms in. Get the salt, and a little pepper. Get back in. Wear a nice thick glove when you do this. Pretty good. Alright, what we'll do is we'll bring our steak over. Steaks look pretty good. You better not grab that, that would hurt. There you go. That is steak caveman style. Let's give it a try. A little bite. Not even sure which one was a marinated one now. I think this one was. Look at that. Perfect. Mmm. That was unbelievable. Holy cow, that is good. So, pretty easy to do. Coles and ash don't stick to the steak. Just do it yourself. You don't even need a pizza oven, so. It turned out great. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching.